All right, so you just got your brand new OLED monitor, whether it's Alienware, whether it's uh, Asus, LG, or you just got your new monitor, period. And as soon as you get in, your colors look like this right here of how I'm displaying it. This is what it looks like on your actual monitor. Not your game. Your game doesn't look like this. Your monitor looks like this. But yet, you want it to look like this. So in this video, I'm going to go through and show you some steps uh, on NVIDIA. I don't know about AMD. I don't have an AMD card, but I'm going to show you on NVIDIA of what you can do to get the best picture quality, the vibrance, the, the colors, to get everything the way that it needs to be ran, and some extra tweak settings to be able to keep a high frame rate in your game. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. All right, so you want your games to look like what I just showed you in there. Instead of being dull, you want them to be nice, vibrant, colorful, deeps. Uh, whether you have an OLED, IPS, or TN panel, these work for all of you. First thing first, if you have an HDR monitor, first thing I want you to do is I want you to open up display settings. Once you come in here, and I want you to turn on HDR. So you come in here, you turn on HDR, and I want you to, um, it's going to be set like somewhere right here. I want you to turn it all the way up. Okay. That's the first thing. Everyone disregards this one thing. And this right here will literally be night and day. There's so many people that I've talked to and I had them do this and follow so many settings. And they just literally thank me so much for helping them set this, this up. Next thing you want to do, and I do it for both monitors. I have two 4K monitors. Both of them are on. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to graphic settings. In graphic settings, you're going to go to change default graphic settings. You need to make sure that all this is turned on. Okay. Every once in a while, you'll hear somebody say the hardware accelerator will cause some um, lag. So you can play with this, see how it does, run you an hour with it on, an hour with it off, see how it does for you. I've never had a problem with it from a 3060 Ti, uh, actually all the way from a 1080 Ti, 2080 Ti, 3060 Ti, 3080, 4090. I've, I've never seen a problem with it. So this is your very first thing. Next, once you go into your monitor, and I want you to set your FPS or whatever your game mode that you want that you can set with HDR on, you set it to whatever you want, and then set your brightnesses and contrast to the max. You want everything maxed out. You might get a little bit of a washout picture, but trust me, max it all out. Then, again, this is an NVIDIA. I know AMD and Intel has their own, but this is for the NVIDIA. If you don't already have the new NVIDIA app, you need to go download it. Here, you'll have you for your drivers. You'll have all your graphic settings in here for different games and what you have installed. You have your system, so it gives you tells you what you're doing or excuse me, what you have. So I have Windows 11 Pro. I have the latest driver as of August 5th, 13700K, 32 gigs of RAM, three two terabyte hard drives. And I'm running two 4K monitors, one at 240 and one at 144. Performance. Do not mess with this unless you don't mess with this. If you mess with um, MSI Afterburn, do not mess with the performance in the NVIDIA. If you do not mess with MSI, then you can mess with this one here, max out your voltage, whatever you want to do. All right. Displays, tells you everything. Video. So say you watch videos on your uh, monitor, movies, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. Uh, most Twitch streamers stream at 720 to 1080, and you want to bring that image quality up. You can come here and turn on your super resolution and HDR if you want. All right, now let's get into the nitty gritty and show you how to get that best picture quality. So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna hit show more. Again, you're gonna right click, use your mouse, the right, right button on your mouse on your desktop. Right click it, show more, go to control panel. 
for the NVIDIA. So again, here's the video. This is what I was just showing you on the other one. You can override it where NVIDIA does everything. So the first thing first in here is adjust your image settings. So you need to click on use my preference and set it to performance, then hit use the 3D advance. I don't know why, but for some reason, if you, if you set it this way, to me, I, I feel like I... <clears throat> I can see or feel a difference from quality to performance on here. All right, I'm not gonna worry about 3D settings right now. So change resolution. So you need to make sure your resolution is what your monitor is and your refresh rate. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers out there, they leave this part right here out. Do not leave this to default. Put it to NVIDIA colors and then what, it, if this is set to 8-bit, you need to set it to 10-bit. You need to set your bit rate to the highest you're doing. If this was set to limited when you first turned on, leave it at limited. If it was set to RGB, 422, 444, leave it to where it was. Now, saying that, you have a nice HDR monitor. You're going to go do some video editing. You want to get some correct imaging from uh, for your video. You can come in here and turn it to 444 or 422. These are for HDR only. Then we're going to come to color. This is where the night and day difference comes in. These are all going to be in the mids, everything. First thing first, before you even mess with brightness or contrast, remember you turn, you max everything out on your monitor because now you're going to adjust everything through this control panel. First thing first is turn your digital vibrance to at least 70. I like mine. I like a little extra pop. I keep mine roughly, you know, 89, 90 is, is fine. It's where I keep mine. Even on my LG monitor, it's set to 88. And if you notice, look at my brightness. Brightness is 37 on my LG. Brightness is 60 on my uh, OLED monitor. So that's number one. You mess with these right here. This right here will give you that, mm, 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 that sweet image that you're looking for that your monitor can really do. No different than getting a brand new TV. You got to go through the settings and you got to set it all up. You don't just go click vivid or movie or whatever it is and it's done. You still go through and you adjust your contrast, you adjust your backlit, you adjust everything that you need to adjust. So if you want, you can go through here and copy my settings down. Uh, for Call of Duty, in the global settings, I wouldn't really mess with this too much. This is what's going to affect everything. Your desktop, your games, programs, whatever you open is going to be underneath the whole global. If you go to program, you can choose a program or a game that you want. If you haven't played that game, then... Open the game up. So like me, I just redid Windows uh, yesterday or day before. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday I redid my Windows. And I, I put a, a video up about how um, to bypass the Microsoft's uh, login screen because they're forcing everyone to get a Microsoft account. I don't want to give all that bull crap out. But anyways, so you come in here and uh, you hit add and you add, you know, say I played Fortnite. That's what y'all seen. I can add now that in here and uh, give myself, you know, put my, my own settings in. So for Call of Duty, this is what I have. I have image sharpening uh, 0 <clears throat> 0.50, film grain at uh, 0 0.5. I don't want no grain in my in my stuff. Uh, anatropic filtering, 16, off, off, application. You can copy these. I'm not going to go through these. That's not what this video is for. But I'm going to leave it here just for a sec. Y'all are more than welcome to copy mine. You've seen that I was getting my 240, you know, between 2 and 240 in Fortnite. I get anywhere between, depending on the map, every map is different in Call of Duty. I get anywhere between 180 to 235 because I capped mine out at 235. So remember, like mine says 4090, you're going to use your selected uh, GPU right here. 
But anyways, so those are my settings there. And again, for my global, the image sharpening, I think, is the only one that transferred over. Everything else, you don't see the 16 times and all that stuff here because I left it alone. I don't want I don't want it to do it. Um, no. Don't mess with the uh, ECC unless you know what you're doing. Physics X, that's another one. So if you're running a KSKU, KSKU means that your CPU actually has a video that comes out of it. So when the video comes out of it, you can have CPU. If you put it on auto, it's going to auto detect. Me, I have, I don't have it hooked up right now, but I have a eight inch screen that I'll run off the CPU uh, by itself. But for my actual gaming, I want this set to my 4090. That's the physical card I want to be running everything. I don't want it to try to search for the Intel drivers or the Intel graphics at all on here. I want it strictly here. The big reason why what this is right here is if I could, I would build, if I had you know, a little extra money, I would put two 4090s in here. I'd have my gaming 4090 and a work 4090. So here you would come in here and you would choose which one you want to use to do whatever. And same thing here, your 4090, you know, auto select, it will show uh, your 4090 and then another 4090. I'm actually looking at a, a 3090 Ti to actually run, to run my streaming and video editing and everything off of, uh, to, to lighten the load on, on my 4090. That's it. You know, just, just to do, just to have, just to say I got a banging system. I'm already got a banging system. Uh, stay tuned. I have a, I'm fixing to redo my water loop. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, I got silver fittings and everything in here. I'm fixing, I got new white fittings. I'm going to redo my loop. I'm going to put a new water, uh, a CPU water block on, new RAM block on. This ain't the best monitor. I'm going to tell you right now, OLEDs, people think that that super black is nice. You need a good black with a good white. And me personally, I think mini LED is the best way to go in doing it. That's just me. But hopefully they don't get rid of the mini LED technology. All I know is I can be sitting here on my OLED monitor. I can connect it to my 65-inch TV over here that's a mini LED, and it looks so much better on that 65-inch TV. Oh, my God. It is night and day from even this badass OLED monitor. My TV just puts it to shame. Uh, the brightness is where – you still need brightness. I don't care if you're in a well-lit room, if you're in a dark room. I don't care. You still need brightness. All right, follow these steps right here, and I'm telling you, your, your image quality will be a lot better. It'll be more vibrant, more colorful. You'll be able to see enemies. Uh, even if you're just playing just a regular adventure game that you're not online, you everything's going to change. Follow these settings, and it will. I'm telling you, your game will look night and day. Your monitor will look night and day. I mean, I've literally had people that had older monitors and they, you know, I went and did a couple of these adjustments and they're like, holy crap. You know, it's like, it literally becomes night and day. But anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch y'all in the next one.